part two of this whiteboard series will give you an overview of how healthcare providers evaluate and treat NAS. After the birth of your baby, your child will be assessed for NAS using a tool called the Finnegan Neonatal Abstinence Scoring System. You can get a copy of this tool from your nurse, and on it is a list of criteria based on the signs and symptoms of NAS that were discussed in part one of this series. Ideally, your baby is scored every three hours after feeding while in your room on the postpartum unit or in the newborn nursery. If your baby's scores are less than eight for five days, your child can be discharged home with you. If your baby receives scores of eight or greater or three consecutive scores equaling 24 or greater, your child will be transferred to the neonatal intensive care unit, also known as the NICU for close monitoring and treatment of withdrawal symptoms. In the NICU, withdrawal symptoms are treated with morphine based on your baby's weight. Most hospitals across the United States use this approach. The dose of morphine will be increased or decreased according to a doctor's order based on Finnegan scores. For example, if Finnegan scores continue to be eight or above, the morphine dose will increase. Once your baby is stable with scores of less than eight for at least 48 hours, the weaning process will begin very slowly. Occasionally, there are setbacks during the tapering process and your child's withdrawal scores may increase again, leading to additional doses of morphine. This entire treatment plan can typically take four to six weeks. If you're at all confused about the standard of care or how your baby is assessed, please don't hesitate to ask. The hospital professionals realize this is a difficult time and want you to be involved. Part three of this whiteboard video will illustrate tips and tricks for surviving the NICU.